Hello everyone, Toad WP. Uh, this is part two um, of me finishing uh, my open letter to the media. I just got through mentioning about, you know, God will judge them harshly for propping up the war machine and denying America, <clears throat> uh, you know, an adequate health care system like everyone else in the civilized world has. Anyway. <clears throat> Corporate media propped up the war <clears throat> in Iraq and Afghanistan, and as a result, millions of people died for nothing but lies, including hundreds of thousands of women and children. <clears throat> it's time for the media to stand up and demand an end to these wars, which are not wars of necessity and do not make us safe. If anything, they do the opposite. But today's news media is incapable of holding a check on the power of the military-industrial complex that President Eisenhower warned, uh, warned us about in his farewell address so long ago. Today's news media is incapable of having a Walter Cronkite-type moment of clarity, like when Cronkite concluded to the American people, and I quote, it seems now more certain than ever that the bloody experience of Vietnam is to end in a stalemate. It is increasingly clear to this reporter that the only rational way out then will be to negotiate, not as victors, but as honorable people who lived up to their pledge to defend democracy and did the best they could. The modern media, we're, we're, they're never going to give us a moment of clarity like that. Because they're all bought off by the war machine to prop this shit up. <laughs> also, stop trying to entertain the notion that Bernie and Cortez, uh, the progressives that are rising stars, and Alexandria Cortez, uh, uh, and those on the mainstream progressive left, are... Stop pretending like people like this are going to make this country suffer the same fate as Venezuela. That is nothing but an invalid straw man argument. All you have to look at is look at all the social democracies of Europe and even Canada. Uh, they have it better and it's a better system. And it's because they've cut out all these cutthroat capitalist bastards that are making everybody suffer so they can make more money. And it's time America stepped up to the plate and uh, started having some goddamn human decency. If the Democrats have a better deal, well, then the progressives have the best deal. Unfortunately now, the crazy-ass Republicans have a neo-fascist white supremacist deal. So it's time to get off the corporate teat and get behind the only hope our country now has to correct course after the cataclysm of the Trump administration is finally over. I predict that if they don't get Trump out of office very soon, he will start some global conflict that will likely push us completely past the point of no return. Trump is, as I've stated before, and I, as also, if you look at the David Pakman show, there's a guy who's head of Johns Hopkins who did an interview, and he's confirmed it. It's not just me. All the leading professionals are confirming. Trump is the textbook definition of a malignant narcissist. All right? Hitler was a malignant narcissist. And he is capable of all the atrocities and evil that Hitler was. Remember, Hitler did not start out killing millions of people. It was the frog slowly boiling in the pot that got to that point. Hitler, Hitler started it all slowly, and it progressed, and it ratcheted it up steadily. And Trump will do the same goddamn thing if they don't get him out of office. If the mainstream media does not uh, begin to stand up for what is right and what is the truth, we could see a civil war, martial law, and one of the bloodiest, most tragic wars in human history, right here on the borders of the good old USA. It's time to clean your fucking house, politicians. Get your fucking house in order. This country, I don't think it's going to survive till the midterms, if Trump is left in office. Uh, he's just too unstable. He'll, he'll, he's just, he will purposely try to cause chaos to distract from the Mueller investigation. And in today's reality, the truth is stranger than fiction. All the time now. 
These are the things that could cut likely come next. So wake up and stop rearranging the deck chairs on your corporate Titanic. The only thing that should be concerning you now is the hit how history will judge you for being on the wrong side of it, and how even more importantly, how God will judge you. So, that's the end of part two. I'll get off my infuriated soapbox and close out this video as I have, as is precedent, with one of my favorite song lyrics that it also relates to things going on to today. I love this lyric so much, I actually considered it getting tattooed on my body. This is a lyric from the Smashing Pumpkins uh, from their most excellent masterpiece of an album, uh, Melancholy and Infinite Sadness. Also, uh, my other absolute favorite at Pumpkins album, which is also a complete masterpiece, a Siamese Dream. They're amazing. But anyway, I will quote this lyric. As Billy Corgan says, And in the eyes of a jackal, I say, Kaboom!